All right, ladies and gentlemen, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, today, we're actually going to react to a video about Brooklyn, about New York. Okay, the reason I want to do this video is because when I explain to people how I grew up in New York, I guess they feel as though I'm over exaggerating. You know, the things I say to them is like, that don't sound like a real place. I want to show you that it's true. I was on YouTube and I came across this video. I watched about a minute. Actually, I watched the intro and I said, yo, you know what? This would be a perfect video for me to react to that kind of explains everything that I've been telling people about New York City. My uncles and them, they made a name for themselves for East New York. Y'all do, y'all Googles, y'all know who East New York. York. Come over here, don't come over here. Uh, Check it. You might think you're somebody else. The interior decoration on all the projects is pretty much the same. East New York High School. It don't get no more East New York than this. You see, they got the metal detectors right here. Chop, chop. We got a jerk plate right now. It's a jerk chicken. If you ain't from down here, don't come around here. That's... <laughs> oh, man. That is so Brooklyn. What's going on, guys? It's a beautiful day out here in East New York. We're in Cypher Hills Projects. Here's Billy B. What's good, Josh? Your girl, Billy B. And we in Brooklyn, East New York, Cypress Hills Projects, where I'm from, born and raised. And, you know, we gonna give y'all a little tour of the hood. Everybody good? I know Brian since I was a baby. You know what's going on? Big, big, big money. Big bad you know money. This is Cypress. So we Cypress. They can say they come here, they the don't come out. here, you are. They don't come here. They come here. They just don't come here. It's the winning team, bro. Real it's shit, bro. bro. The eight trays, you are. <laughs> bro. Eight Third. trays. The Moto. Cyberside. Back what shit, you are. Yeah. If it ain't the back, the middle of the 10 side, it ain't Cypress. We outside, nigga. Off the all the guys. My little Free side. Free all the guys, you heard. Right now, we in the back of the projects. Don't go to, don't go to no projects in Brooklyn. Or in New York in general, because you're going to get violated. I got a lot of project stories, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to make this video too long, but you meet a, a, a young lady, make sure you know exactly where she live at before you go over there. I've had situations where I'm talking to this chick, go chill at her crib, well, I'm about to go chill at her crib, and she live in the projects. And you know how all the project buildings are? They all got this walk where you got to walk through, and it be mad niggas outside. And then as soon as you turn that corner, they are they see you. So it's not like you can turn around and try to walk away and shit, because now you fooled, because you look pussy. <sighs> oh, my childhood, my childhood, my childhood. On Fountain side, that's my side. <laughs> and um, it's the back, it's the middle, and it's the front. She used to be wild, though. Like, my uncles and them was out here, she used to be wild. <laughs> my brothers and them was out here, she used to be crazy, but... We kind of, we just, we just chilling right now. All y'all niggas that's outside acting crazy in these streets, y'all got to understand, like, y'all can't be shitting where y'all sleep at. So, Facts. my building right here, my family from this building, my uncles and them used to be into some crazy shit back in the days. One time niggas ran in here trying to find my uncle and they can't really get to him. So my grandmoms, they knocked on my door. My grandmoms came to the door and niggas sh through the door and sh my grandmother in the leg. So that oh, was like wow. a warning shot to my uncle. Like, yeah, niggas is on your body. Like, don't fuck around. So y'all niggas got to be careful what y'all do in these streets. Because it might not affect you, but it definitely affects somebody real close to you. Definitely somebody affects your family. You. The interior decoration on all the projects is pretty much the same. <laughs> you know, this yellow brick wall right here. That's how you know. You in that nature. Bro, I have never been to a project building in New York that doesn't smell like... The elevator don't smell like piss. I have never been... I've never taken an elevator in anybody project building and the elevator don't smell like piss. <laughs> or you walk through somebody's hallway and it smells like they just finished frying some fish. <laughs> Shit is like it's kind of the same every every project you go to. That's a fact. Um, niggas being here smoking, chilling. I used to play manhunt all through this building, getting in fucking trouble doing shit I was not supposed to be doing. 
Um, you know, we got the slides that be in the back staircase getting busted. Which <laughs> used to be well in the back staircase, like regular project shit, you know. But um, yeah, the interior decoration needs to get updated in here. We need the all this tax money, tax paying money. I know they could do something to help motherfuckers out in the hood. Like <laughs> this shit is crazy. And these motherfuckers, you look at her. <laughs> Once that door closed, <laughs> that might be the end of it. Oh, um, shit's usually be pissy and all that, but they got it nice and clean right now. So I, I told y'all, bro. To do something with this. Told <laughs> y'all. They got to do something with this. So I've never been to a project LA's building where right the elevator don't smell like up piss. Up and down, up and down. We used to do anything in here just to have fun. As a kid, you don't even realize that you're really in the hood. Like, all your friends is here. You got friends upstairs, downstairs, outside. You just look out your window. Everybody outside. Everybody just playing, doing whatever they're doing. That shit was mad fun to me. I don't know about everybody else. <laughs> Every time I used to get sent away for the summer, I used to be tight. Cause I'm like, none of my friends is here. Like, I need to go back to the hood with my friends. Playing double dutch outside, doing everything, riding our bikes, going to the store, like, that shit used to be mad fun to us, and it was like, I don't know, Projects just got like a sense of community, even though shit be kind of, wow. you know, iffy sometimes, it's still like a community, and you build a lot of like childhood friends and shit, and it's motivating, because you, you see some people go down the wrong path, so for me, it was motivating. I'm like, damn, I can't, feel me? I can't just stay here and go down the wrong path. Seeing, like, some of my friends I grew up with and shit being fucked up, was just, it just wasn't cool. So, you know, I tried to make sure I did something with myself, but I always remember where I came from. Always remember where you came from, because your ass could go right the fuck back at any time. Mm. <laughs> so don't ever act like you're too good for nothing. Always come back to the hood. I still got family that live over here, so... Always come back and just, you know, see everybody and just check everybody. My apartment was a four bedroom, one bathroom apartment. At one time, it was about like 13 of us in that bitch at one time. Damn. <laughs> but not for nothing. Like, you know, when family, some, some family fall on hard times, you'd be like, all right, just come over, whatever. People used to stay. But it was. Hey. I'm about to say some foul shit, but this is the truth. I bet you she had roaches. And I'm not even trying to come at her. Because we have roaches. You feel me? We ain't living in the projects, but we live in an apartment building. If you live in an apartment building in New York City, you have roaches. I don't care what you say. You have roaches. If your neighbors got roaches, you got roaches. You feel me? I'm talking about... You turn all the lights off in the crib, wait till about 12 o'clock, and just go and, go and try to sneak in the kitchen, and just turn the lights back on fast as hell, you're going to see them, you're going to see them motherfuckers scatter. I used to hate when I used to go to school and motherfuckers who live in like Brownsville, or folks who live down the block from me, might see a roach in the school and get to acting like they ain't never seen a roach before. Like, come on, son. Come on, son. Let's not, let's not, let's not. You know what I'm saying? Stop with the theatrics. I got roaches, you got roaches. We already know what time it is. Let's not try to act for, for the, these people in here. Just don't, unless you live in like, like I said, if you had, if you lived in an apartment building, bro, I guarantee you had roaches. The only time I know we ain't had no roaches is when I lived with my stepmother and my father. We lived in a house. We ain't had no roaches, we ain't had no rats, we ain't had none of that. But, the apartment buildings? Yeah. Really a lot of a lot of my cousins and shit. Like we all used to want to hang out together, so it used to be mad of us in the crib at one time. But yeah, it's like the way that the cribs is set up, it's kinda like railroad-ish. Like you come in, it's the kitchen, then the living room, then the bedroom, 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 back to back like that down the side. And then my homegirl, she had an apartment over here. Her mom's had like eight kids. So they had two apartments put together. <laughs> that shit was mad cool. We used to love to go over there because it was mad big. It was like four bedrooms on this side and there was a wall separating it and there's another four bedrooms on the other side. So I think, I think housing, they give you that sometimes when you got mad kids. So 
You know, niggas be trying to have mad kids so they can get that, that condo living in the peace. <laughs> now that I think about that's it, that's crazy. Curses, they kind of fucked up, man. Yeah, yeah, that's Boy, crazy. They don't be housing be taking their time, fucking fixing your shit up and all of that shit. Them niggas be taking their time, but it's whatever. We be decorating. My grandmother used to OD redecorate her shit herself. Like she ain't even wait for none of nobody, none of that shit. She just used to fix her shit up herself, put new cabinets, paint the walls, all type of shit, make it real comfortable. My grandmother, she's the one that got us here to Cyprus. She originally from Atlanta. Um, well, her mom was from Atlanta, and then she was raised in Harlem, and after she had my uncles, she kind of got into like a little spat with my grandfather, and she had ran away from him. She took the kids and tried to run and hide from him, and she ended up in Cyprus, and he found her in Cyprus, <laughs> and, you know, he found her, and then when she got here, she just loved it, so she, Jehovah Witness, I grew up Jehovah Witness, too. The Kingdom Hall is across the street, so it was real convenient for my grandmother to just, you know, get wherever she needed to go and do whatever she needed to do. She ended up having six kids. She raised them all here. And, um, yeah, we just, we kind of made a name for, well, my uncles and them, they made a name for themselves in East New York. Like, my uncle King Tut. Y'all do, y'all Googles. Y'all know who King Tut is. He an infamous nigga from East New York. We about yeah. to take y'all by transit. That's a legendary, I've heard legendary King school. That's the only high school that had a train, an actual train in the basement. East New York is basically made up of projects and side blocks. Like, I don't know how many projects it is out here, but it's a fucking lot of them. Cypress, pink houses, plaza, linden houses, boulevard houses, the Bamas. And then all the projects got these residential blocks that we call the side blocks. It's a whole big hood. Cause the houses don't be no better than the project apartments. You'll be thinking it's a quiet block and then you just see a hundred niggas come from a backyard. Like just, just come out wildin'. Like Facts. and then the project niggas be chilling with the side block niggas too, so yeah, it'd be it'd be it'd be crazy over here. This is East New York High School. It don't get no more East New York than this. Every hood used to come up here for the girls, for fights. You see, they got the metal detectors right here, the scanners like you're going through fucking TSA. This line right here used to be all the way almost down the block. Cause so many kids used to have so much different paraphernalia in their bags. And they put your bag through the scanner and they can see everything. I know I keep pausing it, but all, like, all the stuff she's saying is bringing back memories, bro. So, how she said like, she grew up with all them kids. So imagine this, right? All them kids in the projects and the side houses, they all grew up together. They all went to the same zone school. So when I first moved to this country, I had a hard time really like getting accommodated with people because I didn't grow up with them. I came to this country. I went to a private school for like two years. These motherfuckers already been through like kindergarten, Pre-K, kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, up to sixth grade, together. So I'm coming in, and I'm meeting these people in sixth grade, and, like, I'm already having fights. Like, they already planning to jump me. You feel me? And you got to realize, like, a lot of these, they grew up, they grew up together. And a lot of them don't leave the hood. So people be, like, 30, 40 Knowing each other since kindergarten. So that's why it's one of them things where it's like, if you go you go to the projects, or you go to a block where nobody know you, you're like, yeah, yo, who you know down here, son? First thing, like, you, you got to know somebody over there, or you're going to get violated. You're going to get violated, son. And I'm going to be real with you, like, I'm not saying that shit to sound cool, because... People from New York, because of that, we carry, we carry this mentality to other places, and it's PTSD. I say, I say it so much times, but it's PTSD. It's PTSD, huh? Growing up in New York, although it's fun, although you got to do a lot, it's PTSD. When I first came out here, if you asked me the time, like... I would low-key try to sock you in your face because low-key I'm thinking, oh, you trying to rob me. You trying to rob me. Hey, bro, you got the time. Hey, bro, you got some change. Like, 
Like, you know, they like they they like the bank in Atlanta, bro. It'd be a lot of motherfuckers. Hey, hey, can I have a dollar, shorty? Can I? In New York, if somebody asks you for a dollar, my boy, the next statement, if you show them you have a dollar, is, hey, gang, run your pockets. Run your pockets. So the line in the morning used to be crazy, and then you would end up in detention in the auditorium right here. If your ass was late, when they made you late. It was real hard for new girls coming into this school because there wasn't a lot of girls in this school. So when new girls were coming into the school, the girls that were here already, they used to go fucking crazy because they'd be like, oh, no, you're not about to take my nigga. I wanted here for like a year, so I got kicked out. I got expelled, actually, and put expelled? into the fucking the books. People that didn't even go to the school used to come up here and take their pictures right here just to show that they be in the East and all of that. It's definitely not gentrified over here yet. So be very careful and tread lightly when you're walking through these side blocks because these niggas is dangerous too. We in Gershwin Park right now in East New York, right by Killer Ave, Pennsylvania Avenue. Well, it's on Linden Boulevard, but it's right off of Pennsylvania Avenue. This park is sponsored by Nike because this is where all the tournaments go down, the basketball tournaments. Thanks. Um, they be having like real basketball players come out here Thanks. and compete and shit. So in the summertime, the whole Brooklyn be coming to Gersh Park. Thanks. All the drinks out, the nutcrackers, the pineapple drinks, everybody be getting smacked, dancing, dance competitions, all type of shit go down right here. People put on their flyest clothes, come out here. And you know, the boys be coming for the girls, the girls be coming for the boys. We don't really be here for the basketball game. It just be real mixy over here. So, this is Gersh Park. Shit. I've been there like one time. And of course, I'm good. I've been there one to. time. I've been to Caton Park. Right outside the projects. Mad projects in East New York. Facts. So, that's what makes it fun because all the project people come to the park. Caton Park is in like flat And just come outside and be lit. I used to go to school across the street. They closed it down now. It was, it's a church now. But it used to be called Bethlehem Baptist Academy. And we used to do our track and field. Our track and field day. We used to do it right here. Right, we out here. Go to town. You know where the shooters be at? Yeah, come on. Don't do that. Don't do that. East New York. East New York. Eat and wild where the shooters be at. This is the tennis court that Nike sponsored. You know, we got a little fancy over here. They gave us a nice little tennis court. But this tennis court been here, though. But they just, like, you know, fixed it up, made it a little bit more clean. A lot of the kids come out here. They got a lot of good tennis coaches that teach the kids how to play tennis and stuff out here. So it's, like, good exercise and stuff for the kids. Heard, and I think had like that the up. from the schools and all of that that they be doing their stuff out here, too. So... It's dope. This park don't be having too much violence. So this is a good thing. Like, even though it's in the middle of two projects, it's on the main strip. I'm pretty sure some, some shit went down in here. But for the most part, for all I remember, always had good times in this park. Chop, chop. Ooh, that, that jerk chicken, boy. I got a jerk plate right now. Right outside Gershwin Park. Put the barbecue sauce. Feel me? We outside. We got near a little meal. Come right here and get you some jerk chicken. They got everything though. Not just jerk chicken, but we just getting some jerk chicken right now. Some quick, some quick for the road. These are the best, you know? East New York. The Galaxy Motel. This is a legendary East New York hotel. Because back here, all these back blocks, it used to be the Blade. It used to be a lot of prostitutes walking up and down these back blocks. Over here on Pennsylvania, but they had cleaned oh, it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was Pennsylvania a lot of yeah, 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 yeah. Like the schools and everything right here, so they had to oh, clean snap. it up. 75th Precinct in East New York. That's like one of the most legendary, crooked ass precincts Facts. in Facts. the whole of Brooklyn. They Facts. had the whole East New York locked up. They know a lot of niggas by first and last name. Facts. <laughs> That Facts. shit is crooked as fuck, but watch the documentary on that shit. Now we on age vlog, we have to come see the cuz, she's nah, gasoline. You know it's some good <laughs> bow, you know that shit. East New York shit is positive stuff over here too. It ain't just all about the vibe, but for me, if you ain't from over here, don't, don't come over here. Don't even bother if you ain't Look. from here. We nice and we cool and all that, but you know what I'm saying? Told like, y'all. Hey, come over here, don't come over here type shit. For me, definitely you should know somebody. Like, it, it would be good to know I somebody. told y'all. talking about when you go out of... Hey yo, look! I told y'all, it that I mean, that's not just some East New York shit, bro. That's some Flatbush shit. 
that's some Brownsville shit. Canarsie shit. Like, yo, if you not from down here, don't come down here. If you don't know nobody around here, don't come down here. And that, that's, that's so sad, bro. I'm from Brooklyn. I grew up in Brooklyn. But I've been more places in, in Georgia and Atlanta than I've been in Brooklyn. That's sad. Think of, Just think about that. That's sad. <laughs> the town, like, you got to check in. It's still like that in the town. <laughs> Gangster, like... You better right. check in, nigga. You might think you somebody else, gang. Okay? So I was checked out. You know what I mean? Right. Fast. Right. Snapping the fucking thing. Niggas is snapping on this shit, but whoa. I'm trying to, for me, trying to bring the positive shit over here, though, man, with the music mm -hmm. shit. Ain't that much positive. That's a way, because, you know, that's a way for everybody exactly, you know, to take their family out that shit, man. So that's what we into right now, but for me, we could be on our other shit, too. Whatever you, you know wanna, whatever you want to do, whatever East New York, see. whatever you want to do, you want to come over here, we want, want peace, we got peace. Right. We want static, come peace. we got static. Come peace or leave in pieces. <laughs> shout out to her vlogs and shit, you know what I do? Shout out to motherfucking Pelly C, you all. Her vlogs. We in a hug. You get you money know. out here, you know what I mean? Like a diamond cube and all that, man. I'm saving you, baby, so you know how to go, You already know how to shit. East New York, we taking over, baby. Like. Taking over. Oh, guys, that was Billy B's section of East New York. Thank you for taking us out here. No problem. This is my side of the East. I know her vlog's gonna take you out of all the sides of the East. The East is pretty big. Same as you are, the back, you are, to be exact, you are. <laughs> Pull up over here, all the gates and stuff is over here, bro. Yeah, so, um,. It bring back memories. That bring back so much memories about Brooklyn, man. I, I miss Brooklyn, but at the same time, I don't miss Brooklyn. Like, I'm happy for the life experiences that growing up in Brooklyn have taught me. You feel me? Like, my head is always on a swivel. I'm always aware of my surroundings. But I do, I do feel as though, like I was saying before, my childhood experiences in Brooklyn, in New York, have given me PTSD. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it kind of clarify. You know, I was hoping they would do more like in depth, like just going around and you know what I'm saying, telling little stories about little stuff that transpired. Maybe one day I can like, maybe one day I'll just do a video where I just tell like a lot of stories of things that. I've experienced, you know what I'm saying? Just make that a little series.